The recent anti-government protests in Iran were followed by major national internet shutdowns. But it's nothing new in Iran. During one of the country's deadliest protests back in 2019, people couldn't access the internet for almost a week. It was the longest internet shutdown the Islamic Republic ever attempted to suppress anti-government protests and to hide the regime's deadly crackdown. What if this is the new normal? Could Iran cut itself from the global internet entirely and control the internet access for over 80 million people? The Iranian regime has been working on an alternative state-controlled version of the global internet since the mid-2000s, the so-called National Information Network. It's supposed to be a replica of China's Great Firewall. Imagine it like the Iranian regime, building digital walls to isolate its citizens from the rest of the World Wide Web. Shutting down the internet and disconnecting people from the internet is very useful um, because, you know, the darkness of um, no communications and no um, information sharing really does help security forces to suppress the scale of the atrocities or potential atrocities, um, the scale of human rights abuses that are happening. Shutting down the internet is expensive. Iran's internet shutdown in 2019 reportedly cost billions of dollars. Shutting down the internet not only means no communication, like messenger apps, but also businesses and public services are affected. That's exactly why the Iranian regime has been working on the National Information Network to improve how effective its shutdowns can be. The regime usually wants to censor international news websites, but not shut down its own government services. The infrastructure for how uh, payment is done in you know, banks and in shops had really become nationalized, so it wouldn't have to require or need any connection to international networks for it to function and remain online. And so this has been the slow progress in terms of ensuring that there are connections that can remain online when those you know, international exchange points um, are disconnected and stop working. With a national internet, the regime could control the information flow into the country. So, people in Iran, for example, wouldn't know about any of these solidarity protests happening around the world. The Islamic Republic probably learned something about internet censorship from China. China has its own alternatives to popular international applications. Instead of WhatsApp and other services, they can be controlled via the local internet and often work together with the authorities. The Iranian regime is also pushing domestic apps that are being hosted on domestic servers. During the shutdown in 2019, Snap, an Iranian Uber-like app, and messaging services like Balad and Sarush were mostly still working despite the internet shutdown. There's basically almost nothing left to access unless you want to access national platforms. They compromise people's privacy. There's monitoring and there's censorship on the national platforms that most Iranians do not trust. If you want to locate Iran amongst countries in the region, um, other kind of authoritarian states that implement censorship, Iran is extremely advanced. If Iran wanted to really disconnect from the international internet and severely restrict that access permanently, it potentially could. But experts like Maza Alamadani suspect the Iranian regime still benefits from maintaining a connection to the international internet because e-commerce from platforms like Instagram bring money into the country. Instead, the regime has intensified its crackdown on virtual private networks, or VPNs. That means it's harder for Iranians to find ways to access services. So, the regime might not create a fully independent intranet, but still continues to restrict internet access. What does that mean for the Iranian people? I'm always optimistic about the Iranian people because even offline challenges that they're facing, it's incredible. So if you tell me that I will believe that they will find solutions against digital repression, I 100% think that they will always be at the forefront of fighting. Iranians are probably more knowledgeable than you and I in terms of technology just because they have been living with this for you know over a decade since the internet was introduced.